when you're trying to match sake with food, it's always a little bit different than, say, matching wine with food. It doesn't quite work the same way as red wine with red meat and white wine with white meat. You have to understand a little bit about how sake works. Even though there are so many different ways to get different expressions and flavors into your sake, what you've really got to know when you're matching sake with food is how to measure, I guess, the tone of the sake. Just a couple of simple rules. Firstly, sake could be served at many different temperatures. You see here on this chart here, this sake is recommended to be served chilled, but you can also have it on the rocks or even at room temperature. Secondly, every sake comes with a sake meter value, otherwise called an SMV, or in Japanese, a Nihon Shudo. That's basically a, a number that tells you how sweet or dry the sake is. You see here, this is a, a number of plus three, and that tells you it's slightly on the dry side, but not too far away from sweet. That can go down to minus 30 or as high as plus 10, plus 15. Obviously the minus 30 is gonna be a very sweet sake and the plus 10, plus 15 is gonna be quite a dry and spicy sake. And the third value you need to know is basically how much your sake has been polished, how refined it is. More refined sakes that have been polished down to, say, 38%, like a, a Daiginjo style sake, are gonna be very crisp and clean in palate. Whereas less polished sakes, maybe up around 80% or even 60%, might have a slightly richer flavor to them. That's gonna tell you what food it's gonna go well with. So let me give you an example. Say I'm going for a omakase sushi course where I've got 20 pieces of sushi coming to me. How am I gonna match my sake with that? Well, I might start with something that's quite refined to go for the lighter fish that might come at the start of the meal. And I might order that chilled and let it warm so it changes characteristics from piece to piece. And then after five or six pieces, I might order something less refined, a little bit different that will match the, the richer pieces of fish and, and different types of sushi that will come later on in the piece and let that warm as well. So from a just two bottles of sake for example I can get a lot of different characteristics but the most important thing to remember is that when you're matching food and wine or food and sake there is no right or wrong answer it all comes down to personal preference sure take a few little rules to guide you on your way but try a few sakes and have a good time doing it